What's going on, my lovelies? In today's video, we will be taking a look at some Uta gameplay. Some 6-star Uta gameplay at that, my bad. These gameplays will be provided to me by Omega from the Jinbei's Alliance. The number one Uta player of last season and possibly the number one Uta player of all time. If you watch this video, you'll know what I mean. This video is actually pretty overdue, honestly. Omega sent me these videos a while back before he even grinded for a number one Uta spot. And I just kind of put like put a pause on making videos of other people's gameplays too much because I didn't want to bombard you guys with all that. And I hope you guys enjoy these awesome gameplays. All right, so looking at 151% support power, with attacker, seven warlords, paramecia, captain, new worlds, and worst gen for the knockback, seven warlords for the extra status infliction, and of course, showing off these freaking colored metals. Looks like max attack almost and HP. All right, so 199k party power. Team has Roger, Shiryu, I mean shit. What the fuck was his name? Cheeky, holy crap. And two freaking Shanks and two freaking Akainu, so um, that might actually be a little bit troublesome, but if Utsa can actually at least get the Akainu in that little Sing Sing state thingy in the jigger, then uh, he, uh, Omega should be fine. So Shanks is over here, yep. Starting off with that skill too, but oh, thankfully for the freaking shield, it did um helped him out a little bit from that freaking skill two itself. But now one v one and freaking Shanks. Unfortunately for him, a kind of sneaked attack and couldn't do much. Okay, back at it. Team still has you know enough flags, considering all the freaking Shanks on the map. But um, unfortunately for them. D flag over there has been capped and Yamato cap got stopped. Oh, nice, nice. But of course, a freaking Odin had to go and ruin the freaking skill. That shit would have fucking killed Yamato if teammates stopped knocking stuff down. Like, I don't understand. You know, teammates, if you see your teammates using an attack that you do that don't need to be knocked down <laughs> stop knocking the enemy down because you're kind of like screwing everything up so heading up here to mid flag and ooh, that skill too targeting onto the shanks i'm not really i didn't really pay too much attention to see if his hockey skill was activated or not but either way i believe since somebody was there he was able to target the shanks with that skill too and now he's just standing here guarding up mid flag yamato is thinking about it but is not gonna charge over here? No, um <laughs> some of the other Yamato um had to like save to the little, little his little fucking I mean her little Yamato friends there, but they have to retreat. But here comes the skill two onto the shanks, but of course since he has the little hockey thing, he can't be inflicted with any status. Now he is doesn't have the hockey thing anymore, but unfortunately the stupid little um, down bug, kind of mess everything up. Team has flag secured, so all they really have to do is just guard it up, and bam, that skill to freaking target it onto the shanks and killed that mother sucker yet again. So now heading up there to help out with mid flag. B flag is getting capped, but I don't think Akainu is gonna be able to do anything. No, he is not. Poor Akainu in a fucking 4v1 situation. He probably wouldn't have stood a chance either way. Somebody is capping up mid, but that's alright because they have three flags anyways. So, GG's. <laughs> 197k party power. Somebody is using um, Luchi versus 168k. Oh, look at that cute little freaking chopper. Any freaking way. Um, I really don't know why the power difference is, is so big in this match, but 
I ain't complaining. This looks like a match with loads of kills, but who knows? I could be wrong. You know, teammates also can be a little bit sucky. You know me, sucky, sucky. I'm just kidding, y'all. Yeah, sorry, sorry, children. Um, <laughs> it's so um. Got that Rayleigh with that skill too, and kind of got screwed by freaking Odin. Oh no, Chopper! <laughs> Poor Chopper. How did that attack even um get him? Honestly, like I don't know. The tracking on this game is really weird. Anyways, mid flag is unguarded, but I guess he is trying to get the Roger. But um, unfortunately, freaking Luchi knocked him down, and there you go, he knocked him down yet again. Roger is gonna get up and let's see skill 2 on to the Roger and bye bye Roger Nami over there being a rat the poor Nami you freaking got I mean she freaking got skill 1 I feel so bad anyways mid is still kind of like uncapped and Zef is you know trying his best to like defend so honestly right now it's best maybe if they just guard up the flags that they do have. Um, I think somebody is having, yeah, that capture glitch where it doesn't show that enemy is tapping on the map, which is stupid because this game has so many glitches. With the team boost, it one-shotted both poor little freaking cutie pie Roger and the Akainu. Akainu didn't even get a chance to use his skill too, I'm so sorry. Alright, so I guess he is just gonna stay over here and guard up the enemy's B flag. Oh, too bad Nami little invisible thing kinda shocked him, but at skill one, got the Nami yet again. I know whoever the hell is playing that Nami is pretty angry. Okay, so that kinda missed because I guess of the little ledge or whatever you want to call it. Zeph is now trying to get his B flag back. I am really not sure why the Ray leads Arge, but Omega came down here to retreat. And team got the enemy spawn capped. Somebody is over here with the flag, I mean the capture glitch again, but he got skill one. I am so sorry. And Nami Sneaky ass is capping up their spawn flag, but that's okay because under 20 freaking seconds, I am pretty sure if team defended the flags that they do have, it'll be okay. And Odin is okay, nice. Odin actually got the flag back, and this is gonna be a 5 0. No, unfortunately, not because somebody capped up their B flag, but that's alrighty. Still winning the game. I feel so sorry for the team. I mean the enemy's team. Alright, starting off with 182k party power versus uh let's see 199k. Doesn't seem like this lobby is filled with EXs, which is very fortunate and very rare to see nowadays. So far, what I'm seeing is they have one EX, which is the Yamato. I don't know what everybody um second character is, but let's see. Also, as a player myself, I usually target Uta because she can get pretty annoying if left alive for a while. So, sorry to all the Uta player, but I get rid of the biggest threat first. So, heading over here to um, their B flag and abusing that dodge glitch, I see Omega. And nobody is freaking really guarding up, so... Um, he got the B flag with Uta, and now he is just playing runner Uta, I'm guessing. At skill 2, ended up killing whoever that was. I actually wasn't paying attention, but both of the runners, I believe, is over there fighting and trying to cap up their spawn flag. Teammates aren't really defending as well. But he got the Rayleigh with that skill 1 and killed his ass. Fortunate for you, kind sir. I am so sorry about that. Yamato, oh, they have a team boost and skill 2 kills the freaking Yamato. But still, teammates aren't really trying their best to freaking defend. Especially in this map though, it's actually a runner map. And somebody is using fucking Borsalino, but alrighty. 
Honestly, this match seems like a freaking fun ass map, not gonna lie. I mean, not map, but fun ass match. Um, many units that haven't been used in such a long time. It also is really freaking just picking off everybody, so okay, and it's kind of unfair because they are using units that aren't as, you know, meta now, but he doesn't have his shields back right now, but I think once he uses that freaking skill 1 and on the enemy, yep, there you go. So he got both Robin and the freaking Yamato, but of course, freaking Whitebeard, why did you do that? Whitebeard had to go and mess up the combo, but he did end up stopping freaking Yamato from going for their spawn flag. And Yamato unfortunately did an early dodge, so kind of got freaking got <laughs> by the freaking skill 2. And skill 1 freaking kills another person. Oh, this match is, seems like a lot of freaking kills. Anyways, Omega doing a really good job of like, you know, moving around, trying to defend since, you know, team isn't really doing their job as well and here comes the skill 2 onto the freaking roger and skill 1 onto freaking Ezo. got a double kill kind of and now he is about to head for the feast of course uh robin kind of played defender but you know poor robin not not anything compared to uta yamato again <laughs> got freaking got by that freaking skill 1 and they lost and ggs so he got the MVP, of course, of course. So he got 14 freaking kills in this one freaking game. Last game, netting 14 kills, which is freaking awesome if you ask me. GG's Omega.